Hi everyone, Dog Two Snippers here, and today I am reviewing the Time Lord Psychic Container. Now, I've had this about a week now, as most of you will know, and already I love it, and I think it's probably one of the best things character have brought out in the last few years. So yes, I really love it. And in this video, obviously, I'm going to review it. So we are going to start by reviewing the packaging. Okay, so here's the box that came in. Down the bottom it says Time Lord Psychic Container. And then it just shows something here about how it can change colour. Motion activated light effects. Tap the cube to activate. Telling you a bit about how to use it. And then up here we've got where it says Free Modes. Color change, white glow, and white flicker. So it has three modes. This is a five plus item. On the top of the box, it just says the same thing along with the Doctor Who logo. On the side, it's got a picture of the Time Lord Psychic Container and it tells you that the color change mode, the cube, will change slowly from one color to the next. There are eight colors, I think. Yes. <laughs> or is it? Yes, there are eight. So, now it just tells you about the motion activated effects again. Tells you about the colour change again, just bigger. And those two things again. And on the side, it is pretty much the same as the other side. The cube was in here. Tells you the name again down here. And the product information and how to change batteries, etc. is on the bottom on this rather on the back rather than on the back even. So yes. Now I shall take the packaging away and I will review it. So see you in a second. So now that I've taken the packaging away, I'm gonna have a look at the uh detail of the uh time or psychic container rather than the features, so I'm going to look at detail first. Now, to start with, I am a huge fan of Gallifrey, but to be honest, I don't see why you would buy the Gallifrey one of these, the variant edition, because I just think if you haven't got this one, then you're missing out, to be honest. I opened the box, the Forbidden Planet box, Took away some, some of that brown paper they have uh, cushioning it. And then this symbol, the seal, was just facing me. And I shouted, literally, I'm like, oh, beautiful. And everyone stared at me, but still. <laughs> and, yes. I definitely think this one is much better than the Gallifrey one. Not to say I'm not going to get the Gallifrey one, because I might if I ever see it somewhere cheaper. And then fourteen ninety nine, but I definitely think this one is much better. Yes, there is less patterning to it, but still, I really like it. So, if we take a look at some of the detail of the snake's head, there you can see the eye of the snake, which looks very nice, very well done there. And then you can see the tail of the snake running into the snake's mouth and you can see scales all over the body of the snake running all the way around that is very well done that detailing I really like it so going around there is no more detailing but I just want to show you the shape they've done it very well they've got the light box inside this case which is accurate to how the prop was. I think they were a bit bigger, but not much bigger. And what I don't think Mega Shorts pointed out, because I'm sort of the only review of this I've seen is his. Uh, really sorry if you did. I just didn't watch the whole thing. I just watched bits. Um, is there is a little cover here. So yes, I like the way. You can actually see the little gap-like thing up there. So basically removing that cover, your cover even, you're going up into the box. So 
you can put your fingers up in there. So, yes, and then you've got the switch. So, basically that is detail and shape. So now we need to go on to the features. So we have mode 1, which is activated by shaking or tapping the psychic container. And as you can see, the colour isn't so good because it is daylight. You can probably almost, yeah, you could hardly see it after a while. You adjust to it. And then there is the flicking one if you knock it off and on again, which I love. Now, I will show you these with the curtains closed now so you can see what it would be like at night. So yes, it's as dark as I can get the room at 11 o'clock in the morning, so I can't get any darker for you. But so this is what it would look like in the dark. It's great to have on because it goes to sleep after 10 minutes. So it's nice just to have in your bedroom while you're going to bed because it looks quite cool. And then you can sort of like watch it and it almost sends you to sleep. So yeah, that's the flickering. That's the bright light. And then we have the other mode, mode 2, which is the colour change mode. So, there. I have my one at least. I don't know if this is on all models, but you cannot get all the colours by doing this. You only go through some. If you want to get every single one of the, I think, seven colours, then you have to just let it change over time. But otherwise, that takes ages, so I can't really show you. But otherwise, you can just... Sorry, it hurts my knuckles. <laughs> on. Off. On. Off. On. Off. Yeah, I think you can only get, like, three of them. This is blue. Yeah, I can only get three of them by doing this. But then, if you let it change, it will bring up, I think it's about seven colours. So, yes, but it looks incredibly nice as the colour change. So, aha. Uh -huh. Lovely. And, as you can see, in the time it's taken me to open the curtains, it has changed to a blue. Now, you're probably thinking that isn't on, but it was. And it went from purple to blue. So, now I suppose it's time almost to do my final thoughts. But before I do that, there was one last thing I wanted to mention. Up here, you can see there is a mark. And that is just standard plastic marking. It happens when they're building stuff. I didn't like this at first. I thought, oh, that's horrible. But in the episode, I noticed there are, like, bigger versions of that all the way around. Which I haven't included in this, probably because of the facts. It looks nicer like this. So, that was just something to point out. The colour change mode... In fact, hang on. Yeah, I should save this to my final thoughts. Well, that was my final thoughts. So, here we go. These are my final thoughts. The colour change mode is awesome, even though it isn't in the episode. So, I really love it. And I love the flickering. That was great. And I love the standstill white light. It's very nice. The changing of the colours just by tapping is awesome. Or shaking. Like... The... <laughs> I think that's on. Uh, no, it wasn't. Never mind. So, yes, it is a very nice set to have. Well, I suppose it's not really a set either, is it? It's sort of just a uh, toy. Yeah, it's a very nice toy to have. But I'm really glad I got it, because most of the merchandise I have at the moment, surprisingly, is from the Doctor's Wife. Which is quite strange, but it was a great episode. But yes, I'm really glad they brought this out. And I give it a well-earned 10 out of 10. And I definitely recommend it. Whether you get the Gallifrey edition. Or the Seal of the Corsair edition. So, 
whatever you get. Great toy to have. Really recommend it. And yeah, 10 out of 10. And that is it. I am done. Because that was my 99th video. Tomorrow is number 100. And the final video from Doctor Who Snippets. In season one. <laughs> yes, basically, I'm doing every 100 videos as a season. So you just thought, hopefully, that I was ending Doctor Who Snippets at 100. Well, that was the idea for you to think that. And whether you did or not, I don't really care. But yes, tomorrow is the 100th video, and what will it be? Oh, I know, because I made it. Uh huh. Yes. After the 100th video, Dr. Snippets shall be getting a new look. So, not giving away any spoilers there. I will be reviewing the other Series 6 figures. And I'm putting my figure adventures on hold, sorry, because I'm bringing out a trailer for another thing that is going to be much better than a figure adventure. So, yes, that is it. I will see you in video 101. Bye.